This one is 16,000. Oh, you see? Yeah, 995. Sure, not so, bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> I'm loving it. Thank you. I genuinely thought this was more because it's obviously like uh, and whatnot. So, yeah, both bags you can use for evenings, for daytime. Right? Yeah. Certainly. Mm -hmm. Even this, this is so classy. Yes, so and so chic. Chic. Got shoes chic. Oh, Bali shoes. Shows the shoes. <laughs> Vibes. <laughs> How gorgeous. Yeah, that is stunning. It's giving boss babe vibes. That's what I'm getting. How perfect is this outfit it is for New Year's? It is. Stunning. Like a bougie penthouse New Year's. Oh, yes. Welcome to my house. Yes, I'm standing on your staircase at the top. <laughs> stunning. Ooh, how cute. Stunning. And that's too beautiful. I love that. It's giving summer. And I'm loving this. It's screaming summer. It is. Just sparks. So pretty. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I like this one. 
This is very nice. It's giving. It's giving, right? It's giving, yeah. <laughs> To my youtube channel we had such an amazing day we just came back from shopping at a luxurious store called dore and now we're back and we're going to be playing an, an amazing game mm -hmm. called never never am i ever, ever. Yeah. guys i'm so sorry i'm being rude I actually didn't you are She's my friend <laughs> who are you saying well, who's this girl i'm sorry friend <laughs> guys you might know her i mean who doesn't know her she's like so famous superstar what, what a joke. <laughs> i'm sitting with the one and only omotle gela hello <laughs> so excited to be here thank friend. you thank, thank you friend. friend i'm so excited to be doing this with you oh so excited and we're looking and great oh yes and we're wearing Vanessa Garden from Dora. Yes, that's mm -hmm. correct. And that these suits are from the same collection. They are. Yes, they oh my are. gosh. So we're giving like boss babe vibes. We are, but also like, you know, chilled boss babe. Chilled boss babe vibes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's <laughs> the look. <laughs> so guys, we're gonna be playing a fun game, a fun drinking game called Never Have I Ever. So this game, I'm sure most of you know it. If you have done something, you drink. And if you have not, then you, you don't drink. But you don't well, drink. Yeah, you don't drink. <laughs> yeah. Mm, okay, I have a feeling that our bottle is going to be empty already. Oh my gosh. We've already poured <laughs> pre shots. Yeah. Um, and it's about to get lit. So let's begin. Omotle, would you like to do the first honors? Sure. Please? Okay, so I have the first question. Never have I ever met up with someone from a dating app. Okay, I've never done that. I've also never done that. Okay. Next. Okay. <laughs> I think we're gonna drink it. <laughs> what is it? Never have I ever gone on a date with no intention of paying. Okay. Okay, I, I think we're all done that. <laughs> oh boy. Never have I ever stalked an ex on social media um, <laughs> I think we all have okay cheers, cheers to that <laughs> good lord oh my word or never have I ever gone on more than one date in a day okay I've never Drink, 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 drink. I have gone on a couple of dates. In a day. <laughs> In a day. In a day. You no. know. Live your life, girl. <laughs> Never oh have I gosh. ever pretended to get a call or text to leave a date. Okay, I'm oh guilty. Oh my gosh. Me too. I have. No, I guys, have. No. I once, I, I once had, like a long time ago, had a friend of mine say, uh, I, I gave her the heads up and I said to her, if it's going bad. Me too. <laughs> call, me. call me. I'll send you a WhatsApp and then you just call. Just call me and then oh I'll just. Oh my gosh, I've done that too. I've done that and I'll, yeah, just quickly, I'll just quickly go and say, oh, I'm so sorry, it's an emergency. I have to leave. Me too. Because, well, babe, because you know. Uno por yo, yo por you know the date was just not doing, <laughs> was not doing it. Oh my God. So very dangerous. Oh, um, on, this is a very dangerous channel. It's a very dangerous <laughs> channel. Like you. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, babes. Imagine. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. This is how you welcome your guests mm. to your channel. This is how I welcome Ooh. my guests, guys. I've never had so many to my channel. I've never had so many back-to-back -back shots. Ever. No, we're we're in danger. 
go. Never have I ever had a friend with benefits. I've never. I, I mean, friends, no. I've never just like slept with a friend. Okay, perfect. I mean, I almost have, but mm -hmm. it never says never have I ever almost. Almost, it so. doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> so, nah. Okay, next one. Never have I ever slept with a friend on a first date. With a friend? Oh, wait. Oh, with somebody, sorry. With someone on oh. a first date. No, I've never. <laughs> <laughs> drink, drink. But he's my boyfriend now. Okay, so I mean, that's so at least. Yes. It at least count. I'm just being honest, but at least maybe she can get at least we're together. Maybe I can get a, a baby shot. A baby shot. Yeah, like because I mean, shots. you know, there we go. Thank that's you. a baby shot. <laughs> well, if he's your boyfriend now, then it, you know. See, at least yes. But I mean, it's not like a one hit wonder. Yeah, no, no, no. We don't roll like that. We don't roll like no that. No judgment though. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever used a dating app. Oh no. I've never. I've actually never used a dating app. Actually, number the last one is a, similar to the first one. Met up with someone from a dating app. No. That was the first one. And the last one is never ever have I used a dating app. No. I've no. Never. No. Alright. That that that's it. That's our never have I ever game, guys. Um and we're feeling excited. <laughs> We're feeling great. Coming in hot. <laughs> we have Q&A. Oh, we've got Q&A's. Okay, yes. let's let's answer some Q&A's from all of you who've been curious. Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So we went on Instagram and mm -hmm. we're like, okay, what do you guys want to know from like both myself and Bumi? And we had a few questions here okay. that we had saved. We're obviously not going to read all of them because yes. there are a lot. There's a lot. Hi, can you and Mrs. Mobs tell me how much you did your boobs for? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm not laughs> how much? She's like, Gooby, I need help. <laughs> oh, wow, girl, you know I'm all about helping in this channel. You know, right? and honesty. And being honest. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, when did you get yours done? Okay, so mine are three years old. And yeah. I know, right? Time flies. Time flies. I remember when you got there. Remember? Yes. It, was, it, felt, it feels like it's home. It does. Oh my word. I know. So mine are three, and they're still quite perky. Um, yes. Oh, hell. I always say it's <laughs> they're money. They are perky. As fuck. <laughs> money well spent. They are perky as well. <laughs> and um, so, it, it, so it depends, right? On your surgeon, it depends on your frame. And it also depends on what kind of uh, boobs you're getting. Are you getting them under the muscle? Are you getting them over the muscle? So the prices vary from uh, surgeons. Yeah. So with my and also if you're doing like a lift, sorry, like mm -hmm. if you're doing a lift or just like implants, because I know you did a lift, 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 and, lift implants. and implants. Correct. So then prices may differ. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Prices differ. Uh, almost is absolutely uh, correct. So um, it, di it, it differs. But if I had to give a ballpark figure I would say anything from 30 to 50k <gasps> yes. no that is false really friend no I think you forgot because you, you had something else that done. Done. <laughs> nah 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 okay nah, nah, she's wrong. Wrong. Like, hey, no, no 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 those are fly by <laughs> night prices please don't go there don't go there I I got mine I got mine like six years ago, okay. I think, before I had a baby. What? And they look so good still. But they're gone. Where are they? That's how you know. They're, where are they? Maybe well spent. I mean, they're still perky, but they're, they're so perky. little. I want to go like... she had a baby. Yeah, I had a baby and breastfeeding and all that stuff. And that's one thing they always say. They, they always advise you to just finish having kids first and yeah. then do it. But I just wanted to like... She wanted to have mom Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, price range for like solid, solid boobs would be anything from 60k to 100 to be honest so Bumi definitely doesn't remember what? no Bumi doesn't remember are that expensive? friend I legit thought there were 30 to friend 50K. you clearly just swipe 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 <laughs> swipe 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 you don't even look 
Honey, so 50 to 100. I got mine done six years ago for 68. Oh wow, so if, so the, if you did yours like three years three ago. Three years ago, honey, it must be more. And you did a lift as well. I did a lift as well, so I had more done. So, Nje, I think just have 100k to be safe. Yeah, and have like just a proper, proper well done. Were, your, were yours under the, the, the muscle yes. or over? Under the muscle, definitely. Same, same. I don't want it over the muscle because it moves. It does. Like bodybuilders usually like it over the muscle. And it looks like you know the female body. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, looks no. funny. Yeah, no, it does look funny. <laughs> if you have to do it, guys, you have to like just do it under the muscle. It lasts longer and it looks more natural. It looks more natural. Yeah, under yeah. the muscle. So 100k. 100k. I guess if I have 100 bands. Yeah. It's been a boost. This hand doesn't know. Yo, it must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> And then the next, how old are the ladies? I okay. You don't ask a lady their age. Love your friendship. Thank you. Thanks. I mean, thank you for that. <laughs> but <laughs> how long have you guys been friends for? Yeah. Okay. How long have you been friends for? Three, four years. It was COVID? Hey. Just after or before. A woman's memory is a joke. So, <laughs> and I thought my memory was a joke. Friend, your boobs are three years old. Yes. We met before you got your boobs done. Okay. So four years, maybe five. Yeah, maybe four or five. Yeah. Maybe four. Yes, maybe four or five. I think, I think four or five. Yeah. How did the dream of becoming like a TV, whatever, start? Basically. Okay. Like, have you always known you would have been TV? Um, you know, I always uh, talk in my channel about the power of manifestation and the power of the law of attraction. Mm -hmm. And so ever <coughs> since I was a little girl, I've always, always wanted to be in the spotlight slash limelight. And I would always say to my mom, you know, mom, one day I would love to be on TV. So to cut the long story short, I studied drama and film. I have a BTEC in drama. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the auditioning process obviously is very hard, extremely. but it's extremely hard, and you have to be resilient and have a tough skin. Uh, but eventually, when when you when you put when you get your foot in the door, you must know that you're in, right? And you must keep your foot in the door. Um, because the industry also is so like fickle as well, you know. In like you have a job today, you don't have a job tomorrow. Hundred percent. So, but I've always <clears throat> known, you know. Um, so what I'll say is, go to school, pray about it, manifest about it, and then take action. You can't just pray and not take action. Hundred percent. So take action. Go to auditions. Get an agent, and yeah, and see what the it's out there. Yeah, and I think also like one main thing for me is like. Do it for the right reasons. Do Correct. it for the passion. Yes. Because a lot of people just want to be on TV for the sake of being famous. famous. And like we tolerate the stuff we tolerate in the industry because we're so passionate. Like we're artists. You studied for it. I studied for it. You know? Yes. So Zobega Zela, obviously. Yeah, because, because, do you know what I mean? Mm. So I think be really, really passionate about it. Um get education, like read, read, read about it. Like don't just get into it thinking, cause I see at work sometimes we'll have like background actors who are just like, they're asking them to do like the second take and they're like already tired. They're like, ah, full teeth, you know? Mm. And it's like, we do six takes and we've got dialogue. Yeah. They just like need to walk past and they're just like dreading it. Mm -hmm. Cause they just want to be on TV. They don't understand what it means to actually yes be like an artist it's an art like yeah a, like a you spot on yeah so i think just want it for the right reasons don't like do it for the wrong reasons because you're gonna get like you're gonna be caught up in the wrong things there's a lot of like temptation in the industry there's drugs there's alcohol abuse there's just like fame can easily get into your head so yes. you must be really really focused and really know why you want to be in the industry correct yeah oh wow i love that that is good advice Mm -hmm. From your rich, rich auntie. <laughs> ha! This is the one who can check the booby invoice. <laughs> and then, do you have a boyfriend? Okay, Boomy's married. I'm married, so no. So no. <laughs> she has a husband. I have a husband. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have a boyfriend. I mean, who doesn't? Be, okay. Who Next. Does? <laughs> I mean, everyone has a boyfriend. <laughs> I think. Where did you guys grow up? 
the East Strand Honey. East Strand Hands. Representing. Represent. We literally both grew up in, in, the, East. Um, in the East Strand. Yeah. East of Johannesburg. East of Johannesburg. What do you guys use for your skin? Any products you'd recommend? What do you do before you sleep? Like to keep your skin intact? I love a good routine. Like a, 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 Honey. a morning routine. So, you know? <laughs> so I go to bed oily. Oh, glazed donuts. Yeah. A glazed donut. <laughs> I go to bed a glazed donut. Same here. Yo. Same here. So I, I, I do like the normal um uh you know double cleanse first and then use your serum and your toners and your moisturizers and your eye creams and your mask all of that and also remember your skin is your biggest organ in the body so therefore it gets dry quickly so you must put in that eight glasses of water mm -hmm. you know not like us with the jaegers and the champagne i mean you know balance. we're gonna have water after <laughs> balance and drink your eight glasses of water every day and that's how you have beautiful glowing skin and also ladies do not forget your sunscreen just because you're oh, that's black so important mm, it's so important and because with us because we're black mm -hmm. our parents don't Never. like they don't even mention it. Even it's like, it's it. not a thing. My mom is like, I see she teen. Yeah, it's and not a thing. Asha. And it's the Asha. It's the Asha. And <laughs> not only does, obviously, the sun doesn't only burn your skin, but it does like a lot of harm. It does. Mm. So sunscreen is really important. I love that you said that because mm. only now that we're growing up, taking care of our skin, now we're just like, oh my word. Exactly. Can, do we have time for two more questions? Um, one or two. Do we? Okay. Give us a, oh. juicy, a juicy one. Okay, wait. This one says, Okay, please tell Mbumi to unblock me. Oh. <laughs> I'm her biggest fan. Guys. <laughs> unblock her. I'm in the band. I've said this before and I will say it again. I don't just block people on, on my socials. But if you have been rude to me, either in the blogs or on Twitter or on something, or you've liked a comment where somebody was rude, your ass is blocked. Yeah, because th there's no way I am rolling with you when you like a hater's comment. Why are you liking True. the comment? True. And I feel like you're not like randomly you're just gonna block a person for fun. I feel like something might must have happened. Absolutely. Because this person, I know this person who said this, and I've told her before. I was like, because she kept saying, "Please ask your friend to unblock me. I really like her." I'm like, okay, well, what did you do? Why, why did she, you block? Does she remember what she did? No, she's like, I've never done anything to the me. I'm like, she probably liked I was like, she probably just liked an ugly comment. An ugly comment. And we don't do that. No. That's not nice. Like, people are nice. bullies on social media. Social media is people hectic, are guys. Bullies. So, yeah. That's what's up. And that's what's up. Guys, thank you so <laughs> much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this amazing video um don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you on the next video bye this was so much fun this was so, fun. Oh, this was so much fun i feel like an influencer right? <laughs> it's like an influencer let's just take a ride along the bay